Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've gotten a number of comments of like people asking me questions about how to connect the Avalotin GP200 to FL Studio. The previous sound card video that I did for the Avalotin talked about, uh, I showed a very basic example of how I use it for my recordings with GarageBand. In this tutorial, I'll be looking at the FL Studio because I've had so many questions about FL Studio. Over here, I'm on Mac, uh, so I'll just demonstrate. I think it will be almost the same with uh, Windows as well. But before you do the, if you're on Windows, be sure to install the ASIO uh, version of uh, the latest version of that from the Wallet and Official website. Link will be in the description. So let's get started. First, you go to the options and then audio settings. Then in the audio settings, you realize I actually installed the uh, FL Studio Fresh. I haven't actually made any changes. So this is how it looks like. So you realize over here, you see input and output. You can click this and then choose uh, the GP200 audio. And then that's it. So the uh, sample rate and all of those things you can manage that i think that's something basic so basically that's how it's done so let me try and then create a new project uh let me save this okay so to record your guitar through fl studio you'll have to turn on this and then uh i'm new to fl studio like i don't really use it that often so i might you know through some blunders here and there, but this is what I found out. I'm trying to record. So I'm recording everything. I'll go to the mixer side and then choose uh, input three, input four. So that means I'm recording two inputs uh, as one. That's the stereo. So input one and two, you can use inputs two, three, and four. That's good. Input five and six that records everything on the door plus the guitar signal so if you are trying to record something instantly you have to and then let's say you just need the guitar signal and you want it in stereo either you go with input one and two or input three and then four so i'm going with three and four also you, we have the mono side over here if you just want one channel you can record any of them but like i said five and six will record er everything that is on the door plus the guitar signal and it applies to the mono side as well so three and four i'll say yes so before i even went to that side i had already chosen the channel that i want to record so it's uh channel one sorry insert one then uh you go to the side and then choose the it does channels from the wallet that you want to record the next side will be i'll show two ways of doing the recording so you can use the edison editor let me close this then over here I'll hit this uh, I think yeah <laughs> like I said I'm not familiar with FL Studio so I'll hit play uh, I think let me see okay so it's already recorded So basically there is one of the ways that I found out. So after doing that, you can click this particular button. I think it does say take it to the, so I'm going to switch it from pattern to song. So because I chose the channel and I didn't assign any channel to any particular track, I can record another track with the same channel again. So 
this time around it is in the song portion so when I hit play it will start I think I have to mute this how do I mute this okay mute okay good now I'll try and record another portion Basically, that is how it is. You can record the bulletin through the FL Studio like this. Wow! And then you'll be good to do all the interesting stuff that you have in mind to do with it. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.